Hi, I'm Mason Dukacek, and I want to welcome you to another episode of Fireplace Rescue with the color craftsman, John Bubenick. John, thanks for coming in. Sure. I visit with John a lot about different projects that he does and problems that people come to him with as it relates to the aesthetics of their home, particularly their fireplace and the areas that surround it. And one of the most common, I guess, uh, concerns or problems that people share with you seems to be based on our discussions is they complain a lot about their fireplace being too dark. Yeah, and especially I, if it's brick. And I guess they could paint the room and make it look dark, but that makes it look smaller and mm -hmm. probably not usually such a good vibe. So how do you handle that or what alternatives? Can you give us some examples? And of Sure, we'll talk about lighting in the room and whether that can help. Sometimes a room, um, no matter how much light you bring in there, somehow it just doesn't seem to feel homey. Okay. Uh, so here's a project. We brought some photos here. The before picture shows a fireplace that was brick. And frankly, nothing wrong with it, except that it made the room feel like it was dark. Or even dated, perhaps. Well, yeah, that's a part of it, too. So I like to bring sample boards. I like to pick their brains. I like to offer lots of solutions so that they can pick the best one. So in this case, I brought a sample board. We brought a picture of the sample board. It looks like limestone blocks. I ra frankly really like it. Uh, you can't tell from the picture here, but it's got a great textural quality to it. And all of that brings something to the room. So as we were talking about options, you know, they were going back and forth and everything. And you know what? We've spent a lot of money on furniture. We don't want to spend an equal amount of money on the fireplace. Maybe what we'll do is just change the color of the brick. Well, I never like the look of strictly painted brick. I want it to look like natural brick, just brick of a lighter color. So in the final photo, you can see what we did here. We changed the color of each individual brick uh, and they, so they don't all have the exactly the same shade to them. And the particular product we use is a lime paint, and that gives it a real subtle, nuanced change of shade even within one brick. And that's all what helps to make it look natural and helps to create the atmosphere that somebody wants in their home. Well, I like what you did simply because it gives the homeowner some versatility if they mm -hmm. ever choose to paint the room a different color. I mean, it, it, I like the variety of the, of, of the shades in what you chose to do in this particular project because it, I, I just think it's incredibly versatile, versatile and, and gives them more options moving forward. And I, I thought it was pretty cool. And I guess it's a lot better than going out and demolishing a, oh, sure. demolishing a sure. perfectly good and functional mm -hmm. fireplace for aesthetic purposes when it's absolutely not necessary. Well, for cost, for mess, for uh, speed, yeah. We worked with a designer on this project. She uh, offered a color for the walls, and then we came along with this and uh, figured it would be great. We modified the color a little bit from the sample board so that it would fit perfectly with the colors they had in the room. So we're real pleased with the way it turned out they are, too. And we're hoping for somebody else will see this picture and say, let's do another one just like that. Well, I, I happen to know that a lot of designers reach out to him on a pretty regular basis, and they know how to get a hold of you, and so do furniture companies who want to bring you in for consulting work to help set up their showrooms and whatnot. But if, uh, if someone wants to turn their room into a showroom or their house mm -hmm. into a showroom and a show place and they entertain a lot or maybe they just want it for their own, sure. how do they reach out to you? They can see some of our work at colorcraftsman.com, and that's M-E-N, not M-A-N. Okay. Or they can call us at 314-313-1495. Great. John, thank you for coming in. I hope you all have enjoyed um, his expertise as much as I enjoy sharing with you. Thanks for your good questions. Have a great day.